Hey, this is Zero at Reviews on HD, and it's actually a little bit of an odd experience for me doing this video because I've only done one commentary video in the last two months, and I'm just a little bit out of practice. This is going to be a long video because I have a lot to talk about. I haven't done a channel update on here in two and a half months, and if you've been subscribed to this channel for a little while, I think you probably knew something was up because there hasn't been a lot of activity here on the channel. I haven't really said too much about it, and if you've been a long-time subscriber, I think some of what I'm going to tell you in this video could be kind of surprising and also maybe a little disappointing, but I hope that you're going to hear me out, hear what I have to say before you unsubscribe, if you're going to unsubscribe. Now, if you're in a hurry or if you're impatient, then you might want to wait and watch this video later when you have some free time to kind of kick back and listen to the whole thing. And I haven't decided what I'm going to be showing for gameplay in this video in the background. doesn't really matter. It's not the point of this video by any means. I'm also not too sure yet what I'm going to title this video, but I'm sure some of you guys might be wondering if I'm done with this channel, if you should unsubscribe. Let me go ahead and answer that up front. This will not be the final video on here, but there's not going to be a lot of activity for a little while, and I'm going to explain exactly what happened and what's going on. And I'm hoping those of you that have been with me since the start or since 2012 will continue to be patient. So kick back, let me spin you a tail, and I'm going to try to learn you something here on what has happened so far over the last couple months. Now I imagine if I ever had to do a video like this I would be pretty bummed out and I also agreed several times in comments and I think I've even said this in a video or two that if I did indeed decide to completely stop doing reviews on HD and shut the door I would do a webcam video for you guys but that's not the case there's still a very good chance that I'll be returning to do the reviews that you guys have come to watch over the last two or three years but I did in fact get a new line of work which will also be here on YouTube but before I tell you guys and girls about that I need to talk about the events leading up to today and I also need to give a few shout outs first before I get into that story now there's been a few people that have really stuck by me not only by this channel but also by my forum over the last three years and some of you guys might be ready to just fast forward through the video don't these are actually people on YouTube that do YouTube videos and I'm gonna recommend you guys checking those channels out all of them are boxed on my channel if I remember I'll try to put the links of their channels in the description as well if you read my book you know that Underlord Tico is the reason that Reviews on HD is still here on YouTube so even though I haven't talked to him in a while I still appreciate him for being around when I needed him he's always there if I message him Slasher JPC is another really nice guy that also does reviews he does a lot of really weird off the wall videos he's been with me for a long time Lord Antonius is one of the coolest people I've met here on YouTube and he has been there since day one he keeps coming back he's one of the few people that actually has watched a lot of my videos since I started so I really need to give him a special thank you and finally last but not least gadget girl Kylie gave me a shout out in her two-year anniversary video that she did not too long ago and me and her are a lot alike when it comes to YouTube she works harder than anybody that I know on here she's always finding time to post her content on my forum even though she reached the point that she really doesn't need that form anymore and if you guys are subscribers of this channel I would really recommend at least swinging by one or two of those channels that I just mentioned just check out their content and see if you like their channel there's some really good people here on YouTube those are the cream of the crop of the people that I've come across and these are the people that they've been boxed on my channel since I've met them and I've never had a reason to unbox them they're just really good people so now to the fun stuff what's going on with this channel and why I am severely cutting back on reviews and doing videos here on this channel well quite frankly this channel bombed last year in terms of views it has been killing it gaining new subscribers every month but in terms of actual views per day it has completely dropped off the face of the earth and a big reason for that is because I did not do any walkthroughs last year now for the first eight months of 2013 I gave this channel 110 percent of effort time I spent a lot of time doing reviews I uploaded review after review every week I did as many reviews I, I want to say I did as many last year as I did in 2012 and I was still working 70 to 80 hours a week most weeks here on this channel but eventually I reached a point that I just kinda got burned out and I just couldn't keep that pace up and I've been doing that since 2011 just ran completely out of gas I started working on other projects I started working more on my other channels doing all sorts of different types of videos and I've been pretty successful with that I've been doing over a hundred thousand views per day when you add up all of the, my channels combined but reviews on HD 
only accounts for 10% of that and it has for the last six to eight months. In fact, if it hadn't been for PG Zone HD taking off last year and eventually passing the total views here on this channel, I wouldn't have even been able to continue operating Review Zone last year because I quite frankly wouldn't have made enough view wise to run this channel. I may have been able to break even or possibly even come out slightly ahead of some months, but I would have essentially been working for free most of the time, which is what I did for the first couple years this channel existed for the most part. When you say, what do you mean by that? What, what does that mean exactly working for free? Well, I make a certain amount of money based off the views that I get, and if I have to take that money every month and use that to purchase you know, games or computer equipment or whatever the case may be, when everything is said and done and it balances out, if, if I'm actually not making any money for the time that I'm spending on it, that's not a very good thing. And that's kind of the position that this channel has been in for a very long time. It's just not supporting the effort and time that I'm putting into it. So I had to think a little bit outside of the box, switch things up a little bit. As much as I love working on this channel, it really doesn't make sense for me to spend 70 or 80 hours a week on it to get one review video or one first impression video up for two or three thousand views when I could have spent that same amount of time working on other things that I know will get a lot more views and you know work a lot less and not have to do commentary for every video it's just it's as simple as that now here's where things get kinda of fun and interesting in November of last year when I was working on Angry Gameplay HD doing the Skylander tournaments was sick I was given a chance given a shot at having my own cable TV show based around this channel and doing reviews. Now I know that sounds crazy but I'm not telling you guys a lie. This is what really happened. I wouldn't have been the host. I probably wouldn't have had my voice in the show but it would have been called Review Zone HD and me and Sick would have been writing the scripts, doing reviews. It was a pretty big deal. Now my buddy that I've known for eight or nine years is a higher up at one of these networks. I'm not gonna say which one but he had me put together a six minute sizzler video. He showed it to some network producers. I didn't actually upload it here on Review Zone. I have it unlisted on my Zero to Back Down channel. And long story short, it wasn't quite what they wanted. So in one regard, I kind of failed. But on the other hand, it was pretty cool to even be given a shot at something like that. That would have been pretty awesome if it had worked out. But unfortunately, it, it didn't. And I couldn't tell you guys about it until now. So I missed the boat on that. It almost happened. The book that I wrote over the summer based around the events of the last three years here on YouTube also really never caught much success, which I'll have to admit that's kind of disappointing because I felt like and still feel like it's a pretty good book. So again, kind of missed the boat on that one there too. But here's where things get a little bit more darker and a little bit more storytelling worthy, I guess. I ran into some problems with the YouTube partnership, the network that has me in a contract here on this channel. They also have my PG Zone channel and also a couple of the other channels. And I can't tell you guys anything about it because I could get in trouble for it, but that was kind of the deciding factor, the straw that broke the camel's back and why the videos have slowed down to a stop lately on here. It does not mean that I've thrown in the towel on this channel, but I have been given an opportunity that I absolutely just cannot pass up. So I'm going to let the cat out of the bag, tell you guys what's going on with that. Most of you that have been subscribed for a while know who Sick is. He's been on this channel many times. If you visited Angry Gameplay HD in December, you got to hear us battle it out in the, I think we did over 100 Skylander Swap Force tournament videos on there. We have a playlist here on this channel that dates all the way back to 2011, which is titled Zero vs. Sick, in which we pretty much just play games and get on each other's nerves. We do the live commentary in those. I convinced Sick to open up his own channel last year and I gave him a little bit of direction with what to do on there and he pretty much just took that and knocked it out of the park. Grand Slam home run, he's doing toy unboxings, he's doing fun videos you know, based around toys that are aimed at the younger audience and as of right now he's doing close to a half million views a day on there. I mean his channel is doing twice the amount of traffic that say like uh, Jay Leno with the Tonight Show's channel is doing. I mean it's a big deal and we've always wanted to work together and we're finally going to be able to do that on his channel and hopefully continue to be successful at it. His channel is called Mater Car Club but when you pull it up it says something like Disney Cars Toys or something like that and unless you're a parent looking at you know picking up toys for kids or something you're probably not going to be interested in going over there but I'll put the link in the description if you do want to check it out. He has invited me to come work with him on that channel, doing what he's doing, and that's just, again, an opportunity that I have to take. I've done over 2,400 gameplay videos here on YouTube, 
it's been my full-time job for the last three years and I've seen some success with it here and there but nothing like what he's doing over there and I guess I'm just very fortunate to be in a position that I can actually make a decision like that to decide to go do that with him because had his channel not taken off I really don't know where my focus would have been right now I love doing game reviews I think I do a good job of it a lot of you guys that subscribe to this channel think that I do a decent job at it and I would definitely like to continue doing reviews in the future. And if you know a game comes out and I want to play it, then I'll certainly post a review for it. And that's why I would suggest holding off on hitting the unsubscribe button just yet. This channel has a lot of subscribers on it. And I'm not just going to abandon the whole channel just because I'm going to go work on something else. If something doesn't work out over there on Mater Car Club or for whatever reason I decide that I just want to start doing game reviews again, then I'll certainly be returning here on this channel. Now, if I didn't have a desire to continue working on it, I would just flat out tell you guys that's the way that it's going to be. Most of you that know me, that have been listening to me for the past couple of years, you should know by now if that's what it's come down to, I would just come out and say it. But I'm still holding out hope that in the end it's something that I can come back to because I am continuing to pick up a lot of subscribers on here. And if I get enough, I may be able to come back and be successful with future reviews and future videos. But for the next few months, I'm going to give the toy videos a shot and just kind of see how that goes. Now, on one hand, I know that I'm kind of letting some of you guys down by not continuing to work on this channel right now. And I really, I mean, honestly, I really do miss working on this channel. I mean, I got my first dollar that I made back in 2011 tucked away in a drawer in an envelope. I've had a Review Zone HD dog tag hanging around my neck for the last couple of years. I wrote a book about this channel. I still have a website for it. I have a forum that has almost 7,000 posts that's, you know, a Review Zone HD forum. And I've made lots of friends on and off YouTube because of this channel. People have recognized me not only just in video games, but the people up at GameStop know me as Review Zone HD. And I know I did kind of crappy quality reviews in 2011, but in 2012, I, I felt like like I did a lot of good videos in 2012 and then when 2013 rolled around I mean that was it that was the year that every single review that I did I can go back and watch those now and I know that I did everything right I covered everything that I was supposed to I did a good job about it what I said was easy to understand so it's just really unfortunate that the views just really didn't support the time that I was investing into this channel every week and ultimately kind of pushed me into working on other things and other projects that have been much more successful but I'm a lot less proud of. Me doing random gameplay videos with no commentary in my opinion just seems like a super waste of the skills and talent that I can bring to videos but that's kinda what it came down to last year and here's where things get a little bit more preachy I was quiet as a mouse when this started going down in December but I'm gonna give you guys my point of view of some of the changes here on YouTube and explain why the system on here is just absolutely broken I know you've heard other channels talking about it you're probably getting tired of hearing about it I'm late to the party on it but I still wanna tell you guys my opinion on some of this stuff and I'm going to start with the content copyright claim ID system, whatever you want to call it. It's built with the standpoint that the larger companies out there can beat up on the little guys. And from a content creator standpoint, it's kind of like I'm a small fruit stand on the end of the block trying to make a couple dollars and have Walmart across the street not only crushing me on the amount of customers that I can bring in, but also asking for a percentage of the money that I'm making. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, over the last year, YouTube has restructured itself to put more attention on the bigger channels, which they do protect from this type of stuff. They also allow them to bring in more views because they recommend their videos. If they're already established and doing well, they got rid of the video responses, which help channels like mine thrive. All the while claiming that no one ever used those video responses, but in reality, it was a huge boost of views across all of my channels. Eliminating that system pretty much took away the ability for channels like this to advertise their own videos, plain and simple. They also changed the way recommended videos work. If you go onto a big channel, a lot of their videos will run down the side of the channel. But on a smaller channel, it's going to have other channels' videos mixed in down their page. 
As far as the YouTube search engine, the new videos from smaller and medium sized channels now get thrown so far back into the search engine when they're uploaded that it makes it really tough to continue producing content. Even with a channel of my size, my videos just get tossed way, way back when I upload them now. And just to clarify, I'm not talking about titling or tagging the video properly or better than other people. If I upload a video review for a game that just released and it gets buried back to page 3 or 4 behind videos that have absolutely nothing to do with the game that I'm covering or with a review at all, that just that cripples the video's chances of getting any views. It crippled this channel last year. It was a big reason why I just didn't get that many views on new reviews. Now if someone is searching for a review for a game that I just posted and that video isn't sitting there on the first or second page the week that the game released, that video is never going to generate enough views to really be worthwhile. Subscriber views, even with 30, almost 30,000 subscribers here on this channel, even with that many subscribers, subscribe. a lot of you guys don't know this, but subscriber views only account for 1% of the total views of this channel. That's the way it's been since I started back in 2011. It's always been one to two percent. So that really doesn't account for very many views when you're trying to do this as a job. And now we have the people that make music for video games claiming the content in the gameplay videos. And that's kind of like Chevrolet selling the rights to use a certain car that they make in a Forza or Gran Turismo game and then later down the road stepping in and claiming videos that show that car. Not a percentage or a cut of the ad revenue, but all of the revenue of that video is now going to be going to the car company because of that. And that's what the music companies are doing. They produced music for the games and now they're claiming the entire video. I can understand why game publishers don't want cutscenes shown in Let's Plays. I'm totally fine with a company claiming that as their property. That at least makes some sense. That's something they, they worked really hard on. They got all the rights to it. It's justifiable to some extent because that is a very fixed or set experience. Similar to watching a movie or a TV show which is a lot different than actually playing through a portion of an interactive game and the only exception that I can see to that rule is if it's a review or an educational video which shows just a very brief portion of a cutscene that has some commentary over it which that should be protected under fair use but that's not always the case on here now how these channels out there can get away with showing two hour long videos of nothing but cutscenes that are found in a game is just beyond me that should have copyright strike written all over it there's plenty of channels out there that do nothing but show cutscenes of games and they have nothing but monetized videos I don't know how that's possible but this automated YouTube content ID system is gotten just flat out silly and it's only going to get worse. They push a button and it flags all sorts of stuff and even when it incorrectly flags a video there are some cases that you can't even dispute it. I tried disputing three videos in December and it immediately rejected my appeal without ever sending it to the party that claimed the video. Now that's just beyond crazy. How can YouTube step in and immediately reject the appeal without ever even looking at what was said. I mean that if that's not a broken system I don't know what is and what I'm talking about to get more specific is I had permission to show Disney Infinity game footage and I had that permission directly from Disney they gave me permission to do that but yet I temporarily lost 20 of those videos to claims in December so I lost all monetary revenue on all of those videos which this is just one example now I had probably another 40 or 50 videos that I lost in December and January as well and as of right now three of those Disney Infinity videos that were immediately rejected when I appealed if I dispute it again I'll risk getting a copyright strike and if the dispute is rejected at that point I would risk losing the entire channel because it, three rejections would be three strikes and that would be enough to close that channel down. And I know that I have the right to show those videos and that the video is mine, but I've seen some really silly and stupid stuff happen here on YouTube with situations similar to that. So it's just not worth risking losing an entire channel to gain those three videos back. So those three videos are a lost cause. That's another company right now that's collecting revenue off those three videos that had absolutely positively nothing to do with the creation of that video or the making of that game. It's not Disney that filed the claims. If I remember right, I think it was UMG or Phonophile. I don't remember, but they did not have anything to do 
with the development or the publishing of the game. They made a song, they sold it to Disney, Disney puts it in the game, and now they get to claim my video because of how broken the content ID system is on here. And the more videos that I upload to either this channel or PG Zone, the more situations like that that I would have to deal with. So basically, as a content producer, every single new video that I upload now puts the channel at a greater risk of getting not only copyright claims, but copyright strikes. I say now because of the situation with the networks that most of you heard about in December. I'm not going to bother ranting about it here, but I have a couple AdSense channels on here that I can no longer upload videos to because YouTube is asking for commercial rights documentation for any new gameplay videos that I upload. And from what I understand, now that the networks put affiliate status on our channels, YouTube at some point in the near future is going to start auditing all the gameplay channels, even the ones that are partnered and asking for documentation on these gameplay videos, not only for future videos that we would be uploading, but the videos that we already have sitting on our channel. Now as far as the documents go, YouTube wants a legal signed contract from the game publisher to win the dispute or to claim the video if they ask for that permission. And see, that's where things get really flimsy because, for example, even though Disney gave me permission for the content, I could not get a letter of permission from them. They advised me to just mute the music in the game for future videos. Also, as a side topic, I did in fact email the publisher for Dark Souls 2 and I asked if they would give me permission to cover that game. I did over 80 videos for the original Dark Souls. As of right now, they didn't even respond to me and that's been a couple weeks, so I don't think they're ever going to respond to me. It's very difficult to get permission to get papers, even for a channel like this. And I had to do that in 2012 with THQ on a Darksiders video that got a bogus copyright strike. I've talked about it plenty of times here on the channel. That was just a complete nightmare. It's like being audited by the IRS. And some companies just aren't willing to do that for anybody. And to be honest, I can't really blame them. They don't have the time or the money to piddle around with situations like YouTube and gameplay videos and channels like this. But back to the fruit stand analogy that I had going on a little while ago. As a content creator, me recording and editing videos for 70 hours a week or 80 hours is kind of the equivalent of basically going out, farming some fruit and vegetables, bringing it back to my stand. People buy it. I'm happy. They're happy. I'm producing something, a product that people want, but yet here comes somebody stepping in and saying, hey, you do all the work. You put all the time into the video. You bring the people to your channel or your stand, but we're going to take your money that you're making because we sell fruit too or because you can't give me a piece of paper signed by somebody important. You guys have to understand when the companies claim these videos, they're not just removing monetization. They're not just removing the ads so that I just can't make money. They're putting their own ads. They're replacing my ads with their ads so that they can make money off the video that I worked on. Now, to me, that that really that pisses me off. They're my apples. They wouldn't be sitting there on the stand if I didn't go through the trouble of putting them there. And that's pretty much what we're dealing with at this point. It's got to be downright illegal for music companies that sold the rights to their songs to be used in a game or gave a license or permission to use the song in a game to step in and claim gameplay videos that have those songs in them that were placed in there by the game developer. They're pretty much flat out taking advantage of a broken system and they're stealing from all the people that post videos here on YouTube. There's no other way to look at it and YouTube's at a point to where they're actually helping these companies, these people. Some people argue that a game publisher has the right to claim their videos and you know that's kind of a fuzzy topic I don't want to go into that that's kind of a case-by-case -case situation I know Nintendo is going after their games hardcore I got a copyright ID on a Super Nintendo Mario Kart video a couple weeks ago I kid you not this is a game that was made I don't know back in 1994 or 95 or something and Nintendo is stepping in and claiming these videos so that they can make money but you know that's kind of a story for a different day that's a different topic what I'm talking about here is a music maker that sells the right to their music to the game company and it's now in the hands of the publisher to decide if the publisher wants to claim the videos not a third party ad rev Phonofile, UMG, all these other music companies that have tried to take like 50 or 60 of my videos and thousands of other videos here on YouTube. And this is pretty much just the beginning. This is like the first phase, the first wave, and it's only going to get worse from here. Now what's really funny is when I dispute the claims and I win, which has happened many times. I had to dispute the Darksider videos because I had written permission from THQ. YouTube doesn't automatically re-monetize those videos. 
and on top of that I do not get the money back that I lost while it was being disputed while those my ads were pulled off the videos and this third party company come in and put their own ads on there they still got all that money for those 30 days now for a brand new video those first 30 days can sometimes be pretty much the bulk of views that it will ever get and this also gives somebody the right to attack your channel the claim doesn't even have to be legitimate you can just file a whole bunch of claims against somebody's channel and cripple them while the dispute is taking place then you got the partnerships that have switched everyone including me to affiliate status most of these networks are not giving managed status to anybody I know curse is giving out some but from what I've heard a lot of the other ones are not and you know I can't really say what I want to say here without getting in trouble for it I'll let the other channels do the talking on that one but I am very unhappy with that situation then you got the people that say doing what I do on here is not a job that doing these reviews is not work and that it's just a hobby this and that and that I don't have the right to monetize gameplay videos in the first place I've done several video discussions on that topic but if you're gonna say that doing a couple thousand videos well over half of which have commentary over a few different channels and doing reviews doing first impressions blathering on through hundreds of these videos then sitting down and editing uploading tagging promoting I mean to do well on YouTube not just actually get some views but to do well to the point to where you can actually make it a job you can't just record some footage and then slap it on the internet it's just not that simple and if it were then everybody would be doing Doing it and they would have been doing it a long time ago me creating a review is no different than a blogger that gets paid to review movies or a music artist to sit down and create some music to sell on iTunes and it's not just isolated to reviews I mean these people that have the big channels here on YouTube they're entertaining they're fun to watch they're funny there's something about them that gets people to come to their channel and keep coming back these aren't people that just slap stuff on there and don't spend any time on it and when you spend that much time on it it's no longer a hobby it's no different than a music artist sitting down and creating some music to sell on iTunes music's fun people do it as a hobby that's cool but when you're working 70 or 80 hours a week on it every week it's no longer a hobby anymore and that's not something that you're just sitting around doing for fun just to have something to do it's hard tedious work if there's big channels out there that make videos every week for you to watch that don't monetize their videos then great I'm glad they have found a secret money tree out there in their front yard that grows money and allows them to do whatever they want with their spare time but for everybody else here on YouTube that you might want to watch on a regular basis it's a pretty safe bet if you take away their monetization they will find a different way to spend their time I mean you need some type of talent to do this stuff and <laughs> You know, a lot of people that have that talent aren't just going to waste it doing it for free. Why would myself or anybody else work 40 or 50, 60, 70 hours a week when I can go do something different with that same chunk of time to make money? If YouTube, game companies, third parties, whoever it may be, if they find a way to take away monetization, YouTube will no longer have a good gaming community anymore. And the only people left on here that are going to continue to upload are not going to put out the same quality content that you can watch today. Nobody's going to spend massive of amounts of time putting out free videos so the question for me at this point is does YouTube want me for game reviews or doing something else and right now as it's looking it's something else unboxing toys or creating my own music creating artwork building stuff in Adobe After Effects to sell to companies or leaving YouTube all together and just doing graphic design building websites maybe I'll build my own game write another book there are lots of possibilities out there for somebody that wants to actually work every week and right now at this point in time all roads have led me to working on toys right now and I've always thought if I stopped doing this stuff it would be because I got shut down by YouTube or I lost all the monetization on the channels which it seems like that's kinda where things are heading with this new audit system if YouTube steps in and asks me to provide commercial rights documentation for 1300 videos that I have here on this channel I think me and you both know that means they're officially giving me a pink slip but I just you know I can't sit around and wait for that to happen it may never happen or it could happen tomorrow the audit system may not make a big splash this year or you know in a couple months you might start seeing some channels <laughs> start going down but because of all the low views I you know that really pushed me into doing other things last year and at this point between the low views and this audit system and just all the crap that's going on with that and the partnership you know that's where I'm at today now I was also watching a video that had Total Biscuit in it he mentioned that a game publisher pulled down one of his reviews 
because he gave the game a negative review. And there's a lot of people out there encouraging him to go to court over that situation. That's another topic that I wanted to discuss in this video because by law, a game review of that sort should be covered under fair use and a game publisher shouldn't be able to step in and pull down an unfavorable review, but that's exactly what happened. But according to the video that I watched, that's been happening an awful lot. Total Biscuit said that he's talked to a lot of people and that's been happening to other channels. I've gotten over 350 first impressions and reviews here on this channel and it hasn't happened to me yet. But now, you know, that would be another thing that I would have to think about when uploading a review. This channel here is, of course, focused on reviews. So when I hear that stuff going on, you know, I just kind of have to sit back, toss my hands up and just say, OK, they win. I mean, I can't win but so many battles. And when you're being attacked from pretty much every which direction, YouTube, the game publisher, the networks, everyone wants to stick their hand in your pocket for your work and penalize you for being honest. I mean, that's kind of the straw that broke the camel's back and it's already a tight rope act as it is. It's honestly a very delicate situation when you do reviews week in and week out. There's so many things that can go wrong and I cannot tell you how many times I've been left at the end of the week pretty much just face palming because I've either pissed off a group of people that either did or did not like the game that I just reviewed. I may have just pissed off the publisher that made the game or I somehow managed to accidentally break some form of copyright in the video. Then you got the Let's Players out there like Gamer Fusion who plasters review in a lot of their walkthrough videos and that severely cripples the search engine here on YouTube so people can actually find a real review for that game. Someone putting fake titles on their videos to gain more views is kind of the equivalent of someone walking by my fruit stand and swiping some of the fruit off the counter when I turn around. I mean, anybody can record a little gameplay and then put walkthrough, playthrough, let's play, review, first impressions, and whatever else they want in the title just to get views. It's wrong. I don't know how they get away with doing that. And the saddest part about that is I've talked to other channels that started doing that after he did. And their responses back to me was, well, we're going to do it because Gamer Fusion's doing it. Or we're going to do it because he's getting away with it. Or, you know, it's not fair if he can do it and nobody else can. So it's, it's just a mess. And I don't really blame these other guys for doing it. But, you know, it, it's something that really needs to be cleaned up in order for a channel like this or other review channels to really be able to succeed on here. And also, before I forget, I'm just kind of telling you guys pretty much everything that's been going on over the last couple months. I've had to spend an hour every week searching here on YouTube for my own videos because I've had such a bad time with people stealing my videos and re-uploading them. I'm not talking about somebody taking a portion of my video and then talking about it or analyzing it or something of that nature. I'm talking about people copying my channel. I had one guy steal every video from Review Zone HD and re-upload them all to his own Review Zone HD. There was <laughs> I'm not even making this up. There was another review zone here on YouTube for about two weeks before I realized it. And I had to send 60 copyright claims into YouTube before they finally took that channel down. And I know some of you guys listening to this video, you're going to take this, you're going to take what I've said in this video as I'm whining or I'm being negative or pessimistic or I'm talking about stuff that's not going to happen. You know, I hear all sorts of different types of comments whenever I make a video like this. But, you know, I'm just telling you guys exactly what has happened over the last couple months and what has led me to have to work on other things and why I haven't been able to do that many reviews lately. And, you know, it's just a number of different problems that pretty much got overwhelming to the point to where I just threw my hands up and was like, all right, I, you know, I, I got to take a break. I need to do something else. Before I worked something out with Mater Car Club, I was pretty disappointed in the current situation I was in because I really felt outnumbered with the options that I had and my hope is that some of this mess kind of gets sorted out this year hopefully the partnerships the networks can figure some way to you know not make affiliate status be so bad and I've had several good friends on here that I would hate to see get shut down because of the audit and copyright situation I really just hope that they either don't do anything else or maybe even figure out a way to make it fair for everybody but going back to the bottom line, what you guys came here to find out, if I'm going to shut this channel down, if I'm going to continue doing reviews since I haven't done one in two or three months, you know, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. It's something that I feel like I'm good at. I feel like I have a lot of positive support from you guys watching this video. There's a lot of you that have been watching since 2011 that are still continuing to watch. 
and I'm getting a lot of new subscribers every day even though I'm not making any videos so there's a lot that is going well for this channel even though it might be kinda hard to accept that or see that because of all the negativity that's surrounding YouTube right now but yes I'm still holding out hope that I'll be able to return to this channel and get back to doing the reviews every week but there you go that's what's been on my mind for the last couple months I'm sure the chance at a TV deal surprised a few of you I was shocked at about that myself it's a shame that it didn't work out if I don't make a video for a little while any and all of you that are listening to this video are more than welcome to stop by and say hello on my Twitter Facebook form I float around but I check those pretty often again I probably wouldn't hit the unsubscribe button just yet if I ever decide to shut this channel down for good I'll be sure to make a video worth sticking around to see that's a video that even I would want to watch and I don't really like hearing myself talk it would be a wild one for sure it's probably gonna be a few weeks before I actually upload a video on Tomato Car Club because I'm moving across town so I gotta get all that straightened out settled in before I actually sit down and start making videos for that channel every week but that is what I'm gonna be doing for the immediate future and I hope you guys will stick around when I return this is Zero at Review Zone HD and as always thanks for stopping by